There are things that you can do for yourself in private practice that's really going to reduce the amount of time you're spending on your admin. And one of those things is switching to Google Workspace and Google Calendar. If you use a Google Calendar, you can set recurring appointments for your clients. You can even integrate it with Zoom so that you can remove one step from your booking process. Switching to Google Calendar will work whether you see clients face to face or online or a mixture of the two. You'll be able to invite your client and send them an appointment confirmation so that they know exactly where to meet you or how to connect with you online. We're going to jump into my computer for a really quick demonstration of how you can get the Zoom add on and how you can add appointments to your calendar but first of all for those of you who don't know me I'm Kim I help therapists in private practice get online get confident with admin and reduce take overwhelm so let's jump in I'm going to show you how you can add on zoom as an add-on to your Google Calendar so that you can automatically create zoom appointments when you set up your appointments in Gmail so what you want to do is go to settings and go to get add-ons Zoom should be the first one you see there, but in case it's not, just go up to search and go to Zoom and we're going to click on Zoom. Then what you're going to do is click install and sign in to your G Suite or Google Workspace um, account. So you're not going to put in your Zoom details. You're going to put in your Google details. So I'm going to click install, click continue, and then we're going to sign in. Once you have signed in, you need to grant access uh, so that Zoom and your Google account can talk to each other. So you can go through and read these, but basically you're just saying that they, you know, you agree for them to talk to each other. Click allow. And that now has been installed for you. Sometimes it can take a few hours for it to work and sometimes it will work straight away. If you now go to your settings and get add ons and click here, manage apps, you'll see that it's now installed. And now when I go to create an appointment, you can see here I've got a drop down here where I can click on Zoom meeting. What you'll then need to do the first time is log in. So click on log in. It's going to redirect you. And now what you're going to have to do is um, authorize. Click confirm. It will then create a Zoom meeting on your appointment. And if you go to your meetings, you'll see here that that appointment has been created in Zoom for you too. In today's training, I'm going to show you how you can create an appointment, add an invitation to your client and send it to them. So firstly, what you want to do is find the date that you want to add the appointment to and then choose the time as close as possible. So if you wanted one to start at 10 past one, for example, just click on this one here. It will just set it to one o'clock and then you can just change the time manually. So the first thing to do would be to give it a title. So we could call it psychotherapy session. And then I would um, also put your client's name or initials. So we'll just put initials here. And then once you've given it a name, I would go straight to more options and it will open up the, the appointment card for you. Here you can manually change the times. Now, if you click here, you can use drop downs, but they're only in sort of 15 minute increments. So if you wanted to change it to 150, for example, what you would need to do is click into it, type over it and hit enter on your keyboard. And then that will save it as 1 p.m. to 150. Then what you're going to want to do is decide whether you want it to repeat or not. So if this is going to be a weekly session for your client, you can click on here. You can either click on weekly on a Friday or you can custom. So if we go to custom, we want it to repeat every week on a Friday and then you can um, choose when it ends. So you might want to decide that you want to give this client six sessions in the diary and then you can click done and it's going to repeat weekly on a Friday six times. Then what you're going to want to do is add your guest. So I'm just going to click this person here and then you can decide whether you want it to be a Google Meet or a Zoom meeting. So we're just going to click on this little arrow here and click Zoom meeting and it's going to add the conference and details from the Zoom sync that we did. OK, so that's now done. It says who the host is here. And then if you wanted to, you could let's just move this over here. You could add your description like we did before. I'm just going to type this in. And you, we've now got the details about our cancellation policy and things like that. Client appointments is my default. So that is the one I want. 
But if that's not your default, you can use this drop down here and decide which calendar you want it to be saved to. So I'm just going to keep that as client appointments and you want to keep it as busy. If it's not going to be a Zoom meeting and you are going to be meeting them in person, you can also add your location here and then we're going to click save. We want to send an invitation to the client. So I'm going to click send and that has now been added to the calendar. And I just want to show you what it looks like when it comes through to the client. So it says here um, the invitation. It's got the details of where we're going to be meeting. So the Zoom call. And if you scroll down, it also has the cancellation policy that we've put in our description. It has on the email too. So this is what the client will see. And they can click on the yes, maybe or no um, to respond to the invitation. That was a really quick demonstration of how you can add Zoom to your Google Calendar to help reduce the admin time that you're spending booking clients in. I did mention briefly something called TextBlaze, which I will link below so that you can check it out. And that's how you can add a message to your client that goes out with every invite, such as your cancellation policy and things like that. I will do another video on that shortly so that you can see how that works and how you can set that up for yourself. I hope you found this tutorial useful and let me know in the comments if you've added this yourself. I do offer full Google Workspace setups if anybody is interested in doing that and again I'll leave that link in the description as well or I am doing a four week online course which is starting in September so if you're interested in getting on the waiting list that link will be there too. Thank you so much for watching.